Time it was. Listen, if you're going in, will you do me a favour? We tell Roy Cropper that I want a word. Roy Cropper? Yeah, I'll wait here. You go and get him. Time's come out. You do that for me, won't I'd you, Kirk? I'd like to welcome can, you yeah? all to this ancient place of worship, where we are gathered today to witness the marriage of Steve and Karen, to pray for God's blessing upon them, to share their joy and celebrate their love. Marriage is a gift of God in creation through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. Roy! Hey, Roy! Roy is given... Tracy's outside, she wants a word with you. In love and trust. Well, it's up to you. Show they shall be joined in heart, body, oh, thanks a lot, Kirk. As Christ was joined with his bride, the church. Roy, can you come outside, please? The gift of marriage brings husband and wife together. Sorry, can you just hang on a minute? Just ignore her. Come. I'm not having her spoiling our wedding. Look, look, I'll sort it, don't worry. What's she doing here? Tracy, what do you think you're doing here? What is it you want? Right, you out. Come on, we told you once. All I want to do is speak to Roy, then, then I'm going, that's it. Speak to him about what? my baby. Look, this is my brother's wedding day. Now get out. Come on, out. Now. I will go when I have spoken to Roy. You will go now. Yeah, come on. Oh, go! Will you? You can't do that! Come on, get out! Oh, no, I just want my baby! Look, you, your baby's with the father like we agreed, Tracy. I don't care what we agreed. I just want her. Well, I'm sorry, it's too late. She's stopping with me and her dad. <laughs> oh, that's not her dad. Shut up, I'm warning you. Oh, you're warning me, are you? Why are you warning me? You're going to tell everyone who the real father is? Is that why you're warning me? We know who it is. What's the matter with you? No, you don't. You just think you do. Shut don't. up! Because this is who the real father is. Bridegroom. Steve. Not Roy Cropper. Well, aren't you? Go on, tell her. What did you just say? Nothing, honey. She's just going now. What did she say? I said, Steve, that you're marrying is the baby's father. You lying little whore. Well, then why don't you ask him, Karen? Is it true? Tell the bride the truth, Steve. <laughs> Karen! Karen! That's good. Karen! Oi, oi, you happy now, are you? I won't be happy till I get my baby back. Can you, can you all sit down, please? They've got my baby! <laughs> Karen, let me in! You scum, Barlow. Everybody knows it. That's why you haven't got a single friend in the world. Oh, I'm so sorry that you're hurt, Steve. I'm sorry the way it came out anyway. Is that it? Yeah, just wait for my taxi, then I'll be out your hair. Looks nice, by the way. Look nice. Right, I'll be in touch with the arrangements. What arrangements? For the baby, when I get her back. I'm so sorry, Karen. I'm not sorry. Yes, I am. You've never felt sorry for anybody in your life. Well, I feel sorry for you. You're a vicious, evil, vindictive cow. And you don't care about anybody but yourself. Karen! Don't try and defend her, Steve. Because I've got one of these for each of you. You touched me with that, Karen. 
and I'll be suing you with criminal injury, as well as getting child support out of him. Dead people can't sue Tracy. Karen, don't make it work. How can they be anyway? Because she means it. When it comes to screwing money out of people, she does it very well. Oh, as opposed to just screwing people. <laughs> Karen, I didn't come here to hurt you. No, you just came to hurt Roy and Hayley. No. I came to get my baby back, but he wouldn't let me. Was well, it any wonder? And then he started having a go at me. You're not dealing with Hayley now. You're dealing with a girl who grew up knowing how to use her heels. And I want the truth. I want to know exactly what went on between the two of you. Well, you'd be lucky if you get the truth out of this one. The truth is, Karen, you've had a narrow escape. At least you know what sort of man he is. Really? What sort of man's that? He's a scumbag. You fancied him since you were at school, got yourself pregnant by him. No, it was an accident. You've been sniffing round him for months, got yourself a job with him, so you like scumbags, do you? Well, it took me a while to get the measure of him. How long? Have you been seeing each other? I don't know, we were friends for a while. One night it was. One night and one morning, actually. It was enough to get me pregnant. You know, Karen, when he found out, he wanted me to get rid of it. That is a lie. I just didn't know what to do. In the end, I let him persuade me. It had gone well past that stage before I knew anything about Who's it. Who's telling the story? Yeah, and that's all it is, a story. You know, I was all set to have an abortion, Karen. And then for some weird reason, Roy thought the baby was his. Yeah, because she told him it was. The next thing I know, Haley's left him. He's tried to kill himself. Well, I couldn't go through with it then, could I, Karen? It'd be like having two deaths on my conscience. C conscience? Don't make me laugh. The croppers, they can't have kids. Well, there's me not wanting one, but I can't go through with the abortion. It seemed like the simplest solution. She did this for money. She sold her baby for money. Yeah, well, they did offer me money, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and she took it. You made me take it! After the baby was born, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to go through with it. But my head was in bits, Karen. I've got Roy throwing money at me and he's forcing me to take it. I didn't force you to do anything. You came to see us in the hospital, didn't you? Admit it. Hours after the baby was born, he came to see us. You asked me to come? I told him that I didn't think I could go through with it. We talked about telling you about coming clean. In the end, he told me to give the baby to him. Deny it. You can't, can you? I wish I hadn't listened to him, Karen, but... I was scared of him. She's twisting everything here now, Karen. I have regretted it ever since. She did it for money. In the end, I just flipped. I couldn't stand being away from my daughter for one moment longer. So I came here to stand up to him and claim what is rightfully mine. But him and his brother, they tried to stop me. So I lost my temper. And you got hurt. And I am really sorry about that, Karen. But, you know, at least you know what sort of man he is before it's too late. Can I go now? Look, she's just trying to split us up. Shut big. up, Steve. Tracy. Just so that I can get this straight in my head. He tried to make you have an abortion. He made you pretend it was right, is it? And then he made you give away your baby. He put a lot of pressure on me, yeah. I was stuck between him and the croppers. In the end, I lost sight of what I really wanted. Right. It's just, uh, now that I come to think about it, I mean, whenever I saw you two together at work or in the pub, you were all over him, fluttering your eyelashes, laughing at his jokes. I mean, did he make you do that as well? You can believe what you want, Karen. I will. But if you marry him, you're a bigger fool than I thought you were. You don't believe it, do you? I don't know what to believe, Steve. We know she's... I love you. 
we belong together. I mean, they could lock us in a completely empty room and you'd have us arguing about who sat where. But you made me laugh. You keep me on my toes, you know. Turn me on something wicked, I'd never get bored. All I need is you, Karen. All I've ever wanted is you. I've been out with other women before, but compared to you, they're boring. <laughs> it's like comparing this diamond to a chip of concrete. <laughs> Harder, you sharper, you sparkle. <laughs> You've got lots of sides, you. It cost me a fortune. You're beautiful. And I love you. Look, I know I've messed up, and I know the day's been ruined. But let's not let that scheming little cow get her own way. Look, it's not too late. We've still got the venue, we've still got the vicar. Everyone's still here. So, Karen, I'm asking you. Will you marry me? Now. Today. The vows which you are about to take are to be made in the presence of God, who is judge of all, and who knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you know of any reason why you should not lawfully be married, you must declare it now. Stephen James, will you take Karen to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Karen, will you take Stephen James to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I oh, will. I, Stephen, take you, Karen. I, Stephen, take you, Karen. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Stephen and Karen have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared the marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of a ring. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder.